Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what is probably the best weapon, or not the best weapon, the best item within the entire game, especially if you're playing group content. This is absolutely insane. It's probably going to net you more damage than pretty much anything else would in the entire game, unless you have like a god roll chest or something like that. Um, I don't have my camera on right now, sorry. I took your guys' advice and I got a haircut and it looks really stupid. So I'm just gonna wait until, you know, I shower in the morning and I don't look like a complete and total idiot. Um, if you guys would like a video on how to level up your uh, season pass really quickly, leave a like on this video and let me know down in the comments and I will probably make a video on that tomorrow or the day after. So this item, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. It's the new exotic mask, by the way. A big thanks to my friend Does for letting me hop on his account to show you guys this. I um, don't have the levels yet because I've been busy doing other things, although I do know how to level it up really quickly. I've just been busy doing other, you know, IRL things and stuff like that. Regardless though, this mask is absolutely insane. If you don't already know what it is, um, pretty much it gives you, it's an exotic mask that you get out of the season pass from getting to level 35. You just automatically get it. I believe the rolls that you get are random. I'm not 100% sure on that. But um, this one rolled pretty decently. You get you know, weapon damage, and it comes with three attributes. You're not missing any attributes there, so that's really good. But what's mainly good is the talent. So, sorry, that's a Twitch follow right there. Uh, you and all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit. So if you hit them within 0 to 15 meters, you get 25% crit damage. If you hit them from 15 to 25, you get 10% crit damage and 10% crit chance. Or if you hit them from 25 meters, you get 25% crit chance. So... All of these are insanely good bonuses and are probably going to net you more damage than any of the other uh, things would. But what's great about this is that it gives it to literally everybody in your team. So if you have just one person running this and you're constantly hitting people, it doesn't even matter which distance you're hitting them from because all of these buffs are going to be very beneficial to everybody. This is just a huge DPS increase to everybody. And if I compare it to like, you know, even for the person wearing it, you're not at that much of a disadvantage. Like. The only other thing that I would be running in this situation would be like this Providence mask, right? So I'm losing 15% crit damage to wear this, but if I'm trying to stay within 0 to 15 meters of everything that I'm hitting, I'm gaining 25% crit damage. But even if I was not within that, getting crit damage and crit chance is still better than 15% crit damage, as well as getting 25% crit chance. Now, I see a lot of people um, lowering their overall stats to compensate for the fact that you, like a lot of people try to go out of their way to always get 25% crit chance, and then they lower their overall crit to like less than 40%. Honestly, I don't think it's worth doing that. I think that ideally you'd want to be at about 50% crit chance. Uh, this means that you're not going to completely take advantage of the fact that you're getting 25% additional. But the problem is that with most builds, you're stacking a whole bunch of crit damage. Like on my build, I have about like 140% at the moment. So since you're stacking so much crit, if you were to lo purposely lower your crit and then not always have the buff up, whenever you don't have the buff up of extra 25% crit chance, you're just going to be doing way less damage. So at the very, very lowest, I would lower your crit chance about 45%. Past that, it's 100% not worth, especially if you're like running strain and stuff, because if there's any instance in which your other teammate or you can't get the extra 25% crit chance, then you're just losing way more damage than you're actually gaining. And you, of course, getting the crit damage and crit chance and extra crit damage is completely reliant on how much you're actually critting. So at about 45% is where you want to go. You'll still gain 15% crit chance from this, which is very good. And then you can just stack all of your other crit into crit damage and you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, one interaction with this that is very interesting that is absolutely insane that it actually works like this is um you can have all three of these at the same time so let's say that um if i were to wear the mask right now and i were to shoot within zero to 15 meters i get 25 percent crit damage then if i were to shoot 15 to 25 i get this it does not stack but what does stack is if you have three people wearing this and all of them shoot enemies from different distances so i were to shoot them from zero to 15 a friend were to shoot from 15 to 25 and then another friend were to shoot from 25 we would be gaining all of this Obviously, you'd be hitting way over crit cap, but mainly what you're just trying to do is that you're going to hit crit cap, right? You're going to get the 60%, and then that's going to mean that you're also going to get 35% crit damage, which means overall you're just going to get an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. But, I mean, even just for the person wearing it, even if you're like a solo player, just getting 25% crit damage rather consistently, consistently is very good. I mean, 0 to 15 meters, this is, this is the 15 meter range. That's pretty decent distance like more often than not this is the buff that you're going to have and with that buff i mean getting an extra 25 percent crit damage is absolutely insane especially if you're like near crit capped oh my god his gun is insanely inaccurate but let's uh let's pop the shooting shooting dummy and let's let's just take a diff uh, or a look at the difference in the damage if i were to um land a crit so i'll land a a crit headshot right here is he running strain no he has fast hand so 
I'll land a crit headshot. So a crit headshot's about 485 is what I got right there. But then if I were to swap to uh, the Providence piece right here, I get 430. That's a massive, massive, massive difference. And that's even with gaining 15% crit damage here. Of course, there's a couple differences in the gear pieces here, and that's going to you know make a difference. But regardless, 25% crit damage is just absolutely insane, especially when the fact that like if you compound all three of the buffs, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like the fact that you can get 35% crit damage and 35% crit chance if all three of them are active, it's ridiculous. Especially like a lot of the times you'll just have somebody playing like a healer build or like a tank build and they're going to be able to go out of their way to try to get these buffs for everybody and their damage themselves isn't even that crazy. So usually if you're running like a raid group or something, you can usually retain your own crit damage. Like I could wear this mask and then other people could wear this and then I would still benefit from this plus already having my own crit damage. So having like a support player in your group playing this is very good. But the main point of this video is that it's still beyond ridiculous even if you're playing solo, regardless of at the distance that you're hitting the target from. Assuming that you're at around the right amount of crit, I would say that the perfect spot of crit is 45%. 50%, you don't gain as much from the crit chance, and lower than 45%, you don't gain as much from the crit damage that you're already stacking. So that is uh, my tips for the mask, and as well as just explaining to you guys what it is. It's pretty crazy. I don't think there's anything better than getting this, and I mean, it rolls by default pretty good. I'm I'm pretty sure that most rolls are going to roll with like max weapon damage and if that's the case i mean the difference in damage that you're getting is really significant there and the, this rolled pretty well it rolled with a, a mod slot and then uh, max weapon damage five crit chance which is pretty close to cap and then 10.2 crit damage like overall this is a really good roll if you guys want to see the season pass he's level 40 something so if i check the rewards here you get it at level 35 right there and then you also get some skin that he has a skin on no he doesn't he's a different skin on. but yeah that's pretty much it this is kind of just like a tip of the week get this mask and use it doesn't even matter if there's three people in the group you might as well just still just use it just for the you know potential of getting all three of the buffs but of course you probably want to have like somebody using like a sniper build to try to get the last one and then maybe like a tank player to get the first buff and then like a lmg player or a uh rifle player or something or you could even just like use your normal lmg build right and just like try to go out of your way to get this i would just make sure to like see if your friends are using either of these and if you if a friend is using the mask then you guys can like try to work it out between you guys uh, which one is trying to get the other buff but i wouldn't worry about it too much while it is a big dps increase i wouldn't go out of your way to do some like crazy positioning and stuff just to try to take advantage of this i would just have one or two people run it and then just play normally and then just pretty much reap the benefits passively so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see any other videos please let me know down in the comments below and yeah i will see you guys later peace